If you've got multiple items that the shape refers to, such as an example, let's say on the substructure section, where we have our RMB400 radon barrier, we have our sand blinding, and we also have our king span insulation for the floor. What we could do in that instance is we might want to mark out the area for that, but automatically build up the quantity for multiple items in our bill of quantities in one go. So what we can do is I'll mark this as a different color, so I'll choose blue for the next option. Over on the right hand side on our new task then we can set actually individual things, so I might want to give it a name, so say we're going to do the storeroom first. And now what I can do is I can highlight multiple items using the control key on our keyboard. We can multiple tag items on our estimate. And by doing a measure with multiple items selected, it would automatically measure those items in one go. So if I zoom up on my drawing again, I've picked my color, I've given it a description for the calc sheet for annotation, and then all I need to do is choose a measurement tool like before. This time what I'll actually do is I'll use the rectangle tool rather than have to do all four lines. And what you can do in one go is literally start at the one corner and come down to the bottom corner. And when you left click there, the software automatically marks up the area and generates a quantity for all the items that have been selected. If you were doing similar for the playroom, we give it a description over here for our annotation of our calc sheet. And again, this can be done later if you require. All I'm doing is I'm literally top corner to bottom corner, left click, and that automatic. So as you can see, each of the items is getting a running total for the quantity. But if I click on each of the individual items, you can see that the calc sheet level is being built up by two items for it. You get an individual shape quantity in your uh, calc sheet, but you'll also get a running total for the accumulation or the total of all the shapes as your quantity for the item. And as you can see, as you click on the individual items in your calc sheet, it automatically highlights that item on the, tr on the viewport or on the plan so you can actually full audibility back to where you um, back to where you're getting your quantity from. So you don't have to go back and check, it'll automatically show you where you've got it from.